Hi, Billy. So, as you're aware, um, Jewish people have been kicked out of various places 109 times over the past, like since 250 AD. And I've got, I guess, a theory as to why I think that is. And I'm going to demonstrate using um, shadow puppets. No, no, I'm not. There aren't going to be any shadow puppets in this video, but... Um, but anyway, I'm just going to start with a bit of a, a history, I guess. So, for most of the... Originally, Jewish people lived in the area that's now Israel, like around Jerusalem. And that became part of the Roman Empire. The Romans took it over in the, you know, 300 BC or whatever. And uh, in 70 AD, they kind of destroyed the city, basically so that... You know, it's kind of complicated why, basically, so that, like, the competing empires around them, like the Assyrian Empire or whatever, wouldn't wouldn't end up taking control of it. And it was kind of like a, a family feud within the Roman leadership as well. So, but for whatever reason, Jerusalem got destroyed in, uh, in 70. And after that, all the Jewish people that lived in and around that area just dispersed, went went to live, oh, you know, throughout Europe and the Middle East. And um, so after that, so then that kind of put them in a, in a unique position. Like most religions of the world were kind of like isolated or had their own little territories. So the, the Middle East was full of Muslims, for example. Um, India was full of Hindus. Southeast Asia was full of Buddhists. Europe was full of Christians. So there were all these like different religions living like separate from each other. So they could just practice their religions in peace and comfort and without really thinking about or feeling threatened from, from each other. But then the Jews didn't really have, up until 1948, didn't have a, a place. So they were just uh, kind of spread out in Europe. So and a typical European city throughout this whole period would have like 5% Jews and 95% Christians. So they were kind of like, you know, seen as this, this different people, this, you know, they're not like us. They're the minority. So anytime a, like a problem came up, whether it be like an economic problem or a plague, it was always easiest to blame the Jews. It's, you know, because they, they don't worship Jesus like the rest of us, or they don't, they don't have the same traditions. They don't celebrate Christmas, which is our most important holiday. So they, they were considered like, you know, they were an easy scapegoat. But it's a little more complicated than that. It wasn't just as simple as they were hated because they were different. And yes, I, they have been hated all throughout history. It goes well beyond those 109 expulsions. So why why else were they hated? Well, because they were so spread out, they, um, okay, well, first, I guess one reason is that they had different customs and sort of just with a fluke of history, they were okay with usury and which is just lending people money for interest. And the Christians back then were not okay with usury. And lending people money with interest can make you a lot of money. So uh, Jewish people had were wealthier because they would do uh, they would let they would they weren't uh, they didn't have any religious convictions against lending people money. So if there's you know they're not only these different people but they're these different people with all the money. Obviously they're evil. Obviously they're the cause of all the problems. So that was the European mindset throughout most of that time. Um, and then also to make things even worse, um, they, you know, because there were only a few of them in each city, they traveled a lot more often between European cities and to the Middle East to visit each other. And so they had these trade networks and trade also made them, you know, quite powerful. So that's why you had these like rich Jewish families, like the Rothschilds that have just... You know, a, a lot of a lot of money and power went to this minority that was like kind of separate and feared from the Christians. And the fact that they endorsed usury shouldn't really be seen as evil unto itself, because if you think today, everybody, you know, even Christians, even Muslims, 
lend people money with it at interest. It's not, it's, it's not seen as a bad thing in modern times. But, um, but I guess, yeah, it just sort of, it wasn't even really seen as a particularly bad thing back then. It was just that it made them rich and powerful and they were different and therefore feared. So whenever there was a problem, yeah, let's, let's, let's drive the Jews out of wherever this, you know, out of our city. And I think that's sort of why, why they were the, the victims of all this, these expulsions. Because, you know, being driven out of a place, you're the victim. You're not, you know, you can't hold them responsible for that. It's not like if they had, say, bombed 109 different cities over the past 2,000 years, then yeah, I, I'd agree, they're evil. But, um, but yeah, I think it was just kind of bad luck. Um, you know, his histor his historically, geographically, um, I think that Jewish people are, uh, you know, have their foibles. I'm no fan of organized religion, but, um, but yes, um, you know, that's just, I guess, my explanation, my um, speculation as to why all the expulsions took place. So thanks for watching, and um, I'll be calling you on the phone now. Bye, Billy.